And Akharon, Akharon, Khabib, last but not least. The other person in Los Angeles, before whose name I always append two words. The first one is Leonard Beerman, and this is absolutely true, and you can ask my daughter. Arthur Stern was the other person before whose name I always attended the two words, the great, as in the great Arthur Stern. The great Leonard Beerman. It wasn't only that Arthur was pioneering extraordinarily innovative electrical engineer who ascended to the position of president of the International Organization of Electrical Engineers, some 12,000 strong, if I'm not mistaken. And it wasn't only that Arthur was a spellbinding storyteller, historian, attesting to the Hungarian Jewish experience beginning on an almost hourly basis on 19 March 1944 when the Germans entered Hungary. Arthur would keep us in absolutely rapt attention for hours on end as he described every day from 19 March 1944 to his transport out of Budapest to the concentration camp Bergen Nelson as a member of the Kostler Transport and then to freedom in Switzerland. It wasn't only that. Arthur represented the perfect mix of qualities in a Jewish leader. What were those qualities? First, erudition. Hi, I remember Arthur Stern in the minion that you used to have, you and the ring used to have in your house. A minion, a prayer quorum of rabbis, professors, graduate students, intellectuals. And then in the midst of the conversation, this hand would go up and uh, a silver-haired man would issue forth with the most extraordinary commentary on the Bible, mixing Aramaic, Hebrew, Greek, Latin, German, and French, all for the purpose of edification, not ostentation. That was our first book, a Talmud Chacham in the true sense. Holly number one. Holly number two is courage. Arthur insisted on challenging the establishment when he found it deficient in its quest for justice. He was a contrarian, but not only a contrarian. He was a purpose of contrarian. A contrarian in order to fight for justice. He really embodied an ideal that I remember being parted so well from another great hero of my life, my grandfather of blessed memory, whom I remember telling me, comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that was Arthur's belief in its purest form. The courage to challenge. And the third call, let's go to it all together. Arthur insisted on belonging to the community. It would have been very easy for him, with his anti-establishmentarian contrarian position, to stand outside. Arthur insisted, oh no, I'm here. I belong. I care passionately about the Jewish condition. I care passionately about the Jewish common wheel. And no one will exclude me from the bounds of this community. I insist on my right of membership. Those qualities together constitute for me almost the perfect model of a Jewish leader. And I was so deeply privileged to see it in action in the person of our beloved friend, Arthur Stern. Kishmol Kenhu, as his name, so is he. Arthur Stern, Stern, star. Arthur is a lodestar to us. <coughs> Challenging us, guiding us to that position of justice to which we are eternally struggling. What would he say about today? He would say the situation is dire, but not hopeless. He would not shield his eyes from the, from the, from the injustice. He would not conceal or dilute that which we saw. 
<coughs> he would tell us we may not be required to conclude the task, but we certainly can't assist from engaging it. And what I want to conclude with is a word, a set of words actually, that Arthur imparted to us in his last days when we went to visit him um, as he was bedridden and he could barely speak. And we had nonetheless a remarkable exchange with him, a really remarkable exchange. And at a certain point he summoned our youngest daughter Sarah to him, who was about to become a bat mitzvah and Arthur knew he wouldn't be there at her bat mitzvah. And he uttered only two words, Jackie, you remember me very well. He seemed to be flippant. Miracles and wonders. Very enigmatic. May we live to see the miracles and wonders that Arthur prophesied. And may we, in fact, walk in the path of wise and courageous activism that he so powerfully modeled. Thank you very much.